Hi, I am Dr. Lokesh HM, gastro surgeon at Narayan Hospital, Mysore. Today we will talk about rectal cancer. Rectal cancer means the tumors which are arising out of rectum. Rectum is the part of the large intestine at the end part, means the uh, before the anal canal. Okay, so that is called as the rectum. The tumor which are arises out of the rectum are called as rectal cancers. Usually these patients present as the bleeding while passing the stools associated with the mucus means uh, the jelly type of uh, material in these stools and they will have a multiple times a frequency of the stools and uh, usually they sometimes they pass just the mucus and the blood itself without any stools. So these are all called as a spurious diarrhea. So this is the one of the common symptom and but usually patients misdiagnose themselves as a hemorrhoid or a piles and they don't get uh, the attention at the uh, proper or the earliest uh, possible time so that the need for the awareness regarding the rectal cancer is very important. When how it's diagnosed again? So the diagnosis is done by a proctoscopy or a sigmatoscopy or a colonoscopy. So with this scopy we just take a biopsy of the tumor and we diagnose the tumor and we again stage the disease with the CT scan or an MRI of the pelvis so that how much is the disease, whether it is spread beyond the uh, rectum, lymph nodes are positive or, or not and again the whether it is spread to the liver or not. So we have to stage accordingly. So once the staging is finished, so then we will decide whether what these kind of patients require. So usually the rectal cancers are usually treated with the radiotherapy and the chemotherapy and finally the surgery. So after surgery also patient might require chemotherapy. So usually these patients require the radiotherapy and the chemotherapy before the surgery so that the disease bulkiness will reduce and the stage will reduce so that we can do the surgery properly. Surgery for rectal cancer is very important so that we can remove the complete cancer and also at the same time we preserve the anal canal so that the patient will pass the stools per rectally or the, from the normal natural orifice so that they will not have a permanent colostomy at the side of the abdomen. These patients are usually uh, treated both the open surgery and the laparoscopic surgery. So laparoscopic surgery is far better than open because the pelvis is very hollow and narrow which is inside. It's difficult to see in the open method. In the laparoscopic method with the camera we can access deep inside the pelvis so that we can access and see what we are doing and properly remove the complete cancer and the lymph nodes. At the same time we preserve the sphincter so that patient will have a normal pass uh, stool passage at the natural orifice. Rectal cancer surgery patients after surgery they will uh, require sometimes the diversion colostomy so that the whenever there is a joint between the rectum and the anal canal or the uh, lower rectum so till that joint heals so the diversion of the stools will be done uh, through the uh, stoma so that the healing complete once the healing completes then this will be closed so that they will pass from the down. This is called as temporary colostomy or the temporary ileostomy. So these are required whenever the patient needs that will be decided accordingly to the patient's needs.